Oh yeah, obviously we need to go take a trip to Europe in order to go to see how politics and how war was a thing. Let's play Raid Over Moscow. I also look away for, from the screen for a couple of moments. <laughs> also, this flashing screen is courtesy of Eaglesoft. So yeah, I just had that game earlier, and I thought the game did not work, but thankfully I just figured out that it was only because I'm a moron, so yep, everything is alright, so everything is under control. So yeah, Raid right over Moscow, and yeah, this game was made during the year at which I was born, so, so yeah, that's definitely going to be a thing. Uh, do we display the game scenario? Uh, why not? It's important to know what the context of the raid over Moscow is. The time is the near future. Over the year, the nuclear freeze movement in the United States and Europe finally gained sufficient support to force the United States and Soviet Union to sign a comprehensive disarmament treaty. This SALT IV treaty, signed three years ago, requires that both countries dismantle all nuclear weapons. The US have dismantled its entire arsenal and is in the process of replacing those weapons with a defense network of 12 laser firing satellites and four space stations equipped with stealth aircraft. One space station is fully manned and the others are under construction. Shuttle launches to place the satellites in orbit will begin within the next few months. Oh, if only this was papers, please. Since the signing of a treaty, the Soviets have gradually fallen far behind the US in their plans to install a new defense system. While complying with the treaty and dismantling their existing arsenal, they refused to be placed in a position of vulnerability. In order to maintain their strategic advantage, they had secretly hidden a nuclear arsenal deep within three of their major cities. Meanwhile, in the Persian Gulf, a recent coup in the pro-Western country of Saudi Arabia has left that region extremely unstable. The Soviet has sent in troops trying to ensnare uh, or ensure a, a pro-Soviet government. So we have this ultimatum. If the United States does not pull its forces back immediately, the Soviet Union will be forced to detonate the missiles on impact. Yeah, that's definitely a dark game. So yeah, now all of our hopes reside with our space station and, and aircraft. So, do the aircraft just take off from space? Because I hope that it actually ends up working this way. Because then that will be pretty badass. Also, no cyber shell, we're not going back to the gumball factory. Not until you do all of your chores. Good luck on your mission, Commander. Uh, I'm sorry, but we're gonna need more than good luck, because I tried playing the game briefly and I couldn't figure out how to go through this uh, this game. And no, by the way, this is not an adventure game, not a text adventure game. It's pretty much just going to be a game where we're going to be able to do everything. Okay, so we're definitely going to play on beginner, but... Rest assured, the only thing it changes is to give you more aircraft. And yeah, the game is also in real time. So now there's an enemy launch, so it's time for us to take off in order to be able to make it across. And that's about as much as we're probably gonna see of this game, because I still don't know how to do this. Yup, yeah. Unfortunately, none of our pilots were trained in order to be able to get out of the base, so <laughs> that's pretty much going to be the entire game. I mean, there are things other than that in the game, but good luck seeing any of it. And yeah, also, you need more than just your joysticks. Oh no, I crash! <laughs> because yeah, I also need the keyboard handy in order to play because in order to escape the anger I must press the F7 key on the keyboard as my aircraft is in the air. Alright, it's time to take off! Alright, come on, we can make it! Yes! We've made it! We somehow managed! So, where exactly am I? 
Okay, apparently I'm that little dot over here which is floating, so we're just going to go ahead and counter all of these. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what is going on in there, but I suppose this is where we have to go. Oh no, her. Oh god, okay, that's definitely not the most intuitive steering. Ah, okay. Yeah, you see, you're steering this just like a real plane. Oh no, what the hell happened there? And yeah, unfortunately, now we have to go back in the space station because, yeah, we need to take off another aircraft. <gasps> okay, so now, can we do this again? I somehow managed to escape the dreaded hangar earlier. Alright, it's time to speed off away to infinity! Yeah! Uh, oh! <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> okay, unfortunately I'm not sure if there's a way to lose altitude, so I'm gonna have to pretty much find a better way to do this. Uh, no, 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 come on, come on. Take off, you can do this! You can fight for Russia! <laughs> no! Help! <laughs> And yeah, that's a good, that's a good point that is being that is that is being pretty much raised by the chat. Why can't you face the anger door immediately instead of having to do what I'm doing right now? I'm sorry, but no, I was not. Ah, god damn it! <laughs> All right, I hope that I'll be able to make it to that part. Also, I'm not destroying anything, it's the game's fault, alright? It's going to be the game's... Uh, ah, no, come on! Come on, okay, here we go! Here we go! Oh, and the door closes to... Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Okay, we pretty much averted a catastrophe, but... Okay, maybe this is a catastrophe that we're still gonna have to overcome. Yeah, unfortunately, the bad thing with the- Oh no, these planes really rise and- Also, what are you talking about? I would totally steer these planes all of the day instead of playing any other game. That's by far the best game ever. Oh no! What happened to my other plane? I pressed spacebar by accident and it seems as if I lost a plane. It vanished in thin air. Alright. Ah. Okay, and as a bonus, you also. Uh, ah, no, come on. Come on. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I'm so glad that I managed to make this game work because it was totally worth it. <laughs> Hopefully I'll try to play it some more in order to, you know, try and do more than just play the anger. Because it seems as if there's a decent game in there, but... Uh, oh wait, what the hell? Did the place just... Oh, okay, you can either spread... Oh, okay, no. So, does the target actually matters, or it's pretty much just a thing of... Okay, you just go to the city with the nuke in order to stop this catastrophe from happening. Okay, so essentially the deal with the missiles is... You must fly low in order to not get hit by them, but if you stay low, then you become a target to everything else. Ah, oh. a, a futuristic stealth bomber has been vanquished by a tank. 
So, yeah, that was Raid Over Moscow. All in all, I definitely enjoyed my stay with this one game. We'll play again 5 out of 5. Alright.